What part of the country are you from? Uh, Letchford. Ah, then you know the uh, McAlpins, uh, the leather people. No, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't. But you must know them, Letchford. Uh, no, I'm, I, I'm sorry, I don't. I, I'd say if I did. So what happened to Paul? Um, uh, let me think. A uh, Paul. Uh, did he marry that uh, Wilmington girl? Uh, I think he may have done. He was very keen on a Cicely Field at one stage. Do you know Cicely at all? Very keen on hockey. Sherry? No, hockey. Uh, you like more sherry? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, then you, you must know... Uh... I'm sorry to keep you waiting like this, only Dr. Whiteland is out this morning, so um, Dr. Stuart Clark is seeing all her patients, so it'll be a little slower than usual. Oh, that's fine. You must know the uh, Blakeneys, then. No, no, I'm afraid I don't. Uh, the furniture people. Uh, no, no, I don't. The I... Blakeneys at Letchfield. Uh, eh? Uh, no, no, I'd, I'd say if I did. Uh, surely you must know George Blakeney. Uh, no. Uh, yes, yes, um, I do know George. <laughs> and I don't know him very well. He's the only Blakeney I do know, but uh, I do know him, uh, definitely. <laughs> uh, do you? Uh, do you now? Well, isn't that interesting? So you know old George Blakeney? Uh, well, um... Mm. No, I've never met him myself. Uh, Miss Rob, sorry to keep you waiting, sir, but Dr. Whiteland is out at the moment. Never mind, anyway. We've had a most enjoyable chat. Oh, good. What about? Oh, just mutual friends. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, yes, well, uh, if you'd like to follow me, sir. Uh, thank you. Excuse me, Doctor. Uh, thank you very much. If you'd like to make yourself comfortable in there, sir, I'll be with you in for one second. That's very good of you. Thank you. Hey, steady on. Oh, for me, thank you. Cheers. Look, Dig, what am I doing here? Dr. Whiteland doesn't let me treat any of the patients. You've got a receptionist. It's 60 quid a week for a few weeks. Yeah, but I can't talk to these people. Well, he just said you had the most enjoyable chat. I didn't say anything. Well, of course you didn't. If you had said something, he wouldn't have enjoyed it. <laughs> Men like that can have a heart-to-heart -heart with a milk churn. <laughs> That's why they surround themselves with dogs and horses. They like the conversation. But I'm a doctor and I want to do some medicine. Yes, well, you might be able to sooner than you think. Dr. Whiteland was on the phone just now. She says she can't get back until five and would one of us stay on here, just to be on call, that is. Well, it's our free afternoon. Oh, yes, she knows that, but there aren't any appointments or anything. OK, shall we toss for it? Well, I'd like to, Mike, but you see, the thing is, I've made arrangements to take this bird to a matinee at the National Theatre this afternoon. Oh, have you? Yes. Do you have anything fixed? Yes. Well, no, no. Well, look, Mike, could you possibly do it? Look, I'd be terribly grateful. I, and you've got the television and, and the brandy and... Uh... And what? Oh, thanks, Mike. You're a real pal. Look, I'll do the same for you someday. Uh, oh, um, tell Jarvis he can go now, will you, Sunshine? Yeah. So, Jarvis! So sorry to keep you waiting, Carl. Jarvis! Ah, there you are, Jarvis. Um, Dr. Stuart Clark says you can go now. Thank you, Dr. Upton. What are those for? Dr. Whiteland gave them to me. Oh, happy birthday, Jarvis. <laughs> As I was saying, Dr. Upton, Dr. Whiteland gave them to me because Lady Ashley is calling here at three o'clock and uh, wishes to collect them. Uh, is it her birthday, Jarvis? No, Dr. Upton, it is not. She's collecting them for some charity to which uh, Dr. Whiteland wishes to contribute. Am I making myself sufficiently clear? Oh, you are. I'm so glad. And you want to borrow them for an hour, do you? No, Dr. Upton. As I am leaving and you are staying, I was hoping you would agree to give these stuffed creatures to her ladyship when she calls at three. Yes, of course. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> Good day, Dr. Upton. Travelling by motorcycle, Jarvis? Yes, sir. How did you guess? <laughs> I very much hope that you do not meet with a fatal accident this afternoon. Thank you, Dr. Upton. An unusually safe weekend to you too, sir. Good afternoon, John. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> oh, um, good afternoon. Hello. I'm Tanya. Oh, I'm uh, Michael. Uh, Dr. Upton. Uh, Dr. Michael. Uh, Dr. Michael Upton. Hello, Doctor. Good afternoon. <laughs> May I come in? Oh, please do. Um, do you have an appointment? 
That's very funny. Oh, you're not a patient? <laughs> no, pull the other one. Dick is expecting me, though. Oh, yes, of course. Tanya, <laughs> yes. So? So, you're little Michael, are you? Well, I'm ten and a half stone. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to the National Theatre this afternoon, then? No, pull the other one, you naughty man. Well, you know the Sutcliffe Theatre. Um, would you care for a, a glass of sherry? <laughs> Ten and a half stone. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> Here I am, Dr. Man. Oh, hello, darling. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, this is Mike. Mm. Mm. Oh, mm. Mike, this is this is Tron. <laughs> uh, I think we'd better be going, darling. Yes, you don't want to miss the curtain up. <gasps> You're wicked, isn't he? Yes, darling. Come on, we'd better be going. <laughs> I'll see you, Mike. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, mm. darling, I'm sorry, I forgot something. I'll catch you up. <laughs> uh, um, Mike. A matinee at the National Theatre, eh? You shouldn't have said anything. It was supposed to be a surprise. You lying hound. You're going straight back to her pad, aren't you? No, I'm not. Oh, I see. You're off to Oedipus Rex for a good snog in the back row, then, aren't you? No. <laughs> well, I'm stuck here watching Frank Boff and Motocross till five o'clock. I you? really do appreciate it, Mike. I can't... Oh, yeah. Uh, thing is, Mike, I've... Uh... What? Well, I sort of double-dated myself this afternoon. Oh, how terrible for Yes. You. So if a bird called Maxine rings, would you tell her that I've been called out on an emergency and I'll ring her back next week? Yes, sure. Hello, Maxine. Look, Dick says he's terribly sorry, but he's met this girl with bigger boobs than yours. <laughs> so he's whipped her off to the old Vic for a couple of hours of mortal sin, but he'll call you next Friday if he feels randy and he's got two tickets for Hedda Garbler. <laughs> That's fabulous, Mike. Thanks a lot. I'll see you anyway. Yeah. Bye. Enjoy. Hello? Ah, hello, Maxine. Look, um, Dick says, said he's terribly sorry, but he's met this, um, fella, Vic, with enormous swellings. <laughs> and he's had to go down to Vic, uh, at Chichester for a couple of hours to treat the swellings, uh, because they are so large. <laughs> but he'll call you next week if he feels ra um, <laughs> perhaps to go to the theatre. Uh, the theatre? It probably was a joke, yes. No, no, honestly, he said he would call. Oh, well, he's just left. Uh, a couple of hours ago. No, I'll remind him. OK. Bye-bye, Maxine. Hello, Frank. Right, what's that place called? Dial and Nosh. This is Dr. Whiteland's practice, isn't it? Yes, yes, it is. Um, are you connected with Lady Ashley? I beg your pardon. <laughs> are, are you a friend of Lady Ashley's? Oh, I have met her, yes. But you haven't come to collect the birds? Is this a joke? No, no. Oh, I thought perhaps it was something to do with my only being here for the bears. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> Good, because I have an appointment, Dr. Whiteland. Oh, well, um, do you? Oh, well, please go in. Um, only Lady Ashley is collecting me, you see. Um, please go in. Uh, I'm terribly sorry about the, um, mess. Uh, have a seat. Oh. Uh. Uh, I'll give you a moment. <laughs> the clean will do it. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, I'm sorry, there actually isn't an appointment written in for this afternoon. Uh, the name is Beecham. Beecham. Ah, uh, I'm afraid the appointment is for next Saturday. Oh, dear, be how infuriating. 
Only, uh, Dr. White, I won't be back till five. I'm catching a train at five. This isn't the first time this has happened. Next Saturday, I'm in Edinburgh. Oh, dear me. Well, I'm one of Dr. Whiteland's assistants, and perhaps I could... I am a doctor. Well, uh, yes. I don't see why not, really. Uh... Good. Well, um, have a seat. Or remain standing if you... <laughs> i just uh, take a few details. Beecham, George Beecham, age 53. Ah. Hello? Ah, hello, Maxine. No, no, really. No, no, I promise. No, I'm not lying, honestly. It's nothing to do with Tanya. Sorry about this. Uh, look, um, please don't get upset. No, no, it's not a plot. Uh, nobody's treating you like dirt. Well, well I'm sorry, but, it, but he's not here. Uh, no, he isn't. Look, Maxine, please don't scream. Uh, Ma don't scream, Maxine, please. Uh, fine. Bye-bye, then, Maxine. Bye-bye. Sorry about that. I don't think me mad, but you did say you were Dr. Whiteland's assistant. Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Um, that was nothing to do with me. I mean, it's a friend. Oh, of course. I'll just see if I can find your record card, Mr. Beecham. <laughs> your occupation, Mr. Beecham? Cabinet Minister. <laughs> Did you say Cabinet Minister? Yes, I'm Minister of Inland Development. Oh, I'm uh, terribly sorry, sir. I, I should have recognised you. <laughs> And where exactly do you feel the pain? In the, in the lower back and right at the base of the spine, when I bend down to pick something up. Do you get the same pain if you stretch up? No. I see. Well, I think I'd better examine you. Uh, I wonder if you'd just uh, go into the examination room and take all your clothes off, please. <laughs> all my clothes? Uh, please, and I'll be with you in a moment. I'm Maxine. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I, I can't stand it. What? Do you hear? I, I, I can't stand it. Hey. Ah! 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 Now, please, try and control yourself. Sit down and, and just relax. Everything will be all right, OK? I'll get you a drink. Here we are. Get that down, you. Yeah, the world of good. All right? Stop it! Uh, for God's sake, there's somebody in there! Look, control yourself! Shut up! What? Now, please, try and control yourself. What, what, what did you say then? When? Just then. What did you, you say then? Shut up. You said there was somebody in there, didn't you? Yes. It's him, isn't it? No, no, it's not Stuart Clark. It's him, isn't it? In there with that tart. No, it? no, of course it's not. Well, if it isn't him, who is it? It's the Minister for Inland Development. Oh, oh. It is, I promise. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. I'll... Ah! No, no, I'll kill him. stop, stop. I'll... Look, Maxine, I'll kill him. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. Again, I'll... Hello? <laughs> you promiscuous pig. <laughs> you, you've got that tart in there with you, haven't you? <laughs> Hello? Well, I'm going to scratch your eyes off. Uh, Maxine, no! <laughs> oh, I do apologise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How horrible. Please, um... Ooh, how, how could you let me go in there? Well, I... I've never been so 
humiliated. I'm terribly sorry about that, Minister. Now, I want to know what's happening. Well, I, I'm just coming in to examine you. What is going on? Well, it's a long story. Ah! <laughs> Now look! No, I want to die! Shut up! Please, I'm going to kill myself. Good! No, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. What have you got there? Pills. Oh, no! Now leave me alone. I want to die. No, don't be silly, Maxine. Let me have them. No. Maxine, don't be silly. Come here. No. Oh, will you come here? No, no, no. Give Let them to me. me. Go. Look, Maxine, ah. give them to me. Ah. Let me have them. Get off me! Look, ah. I want it now! No! You've got to let me have it! it. No. Oh, good afternoon. No. Ah. You brute! Oh. I hate you! Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> uh, she had some dangerous pills, you see. Uh, I'm sorry about this. Uh, here they are. What are you doing? Uh, here are the bears. You're mad! Look, for God's sake, take them! She's going to kill herself! Oh. But I'm collecting for the lifeboats! <laughs> here because I thought you were serious I'm about... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I... Oh, God, I've never been so miserable. Well, I imagine you'll be all right now, will you? Oh, please don't leave me. I'm afraid I have to. Just lie down for an hour and you'll be fine. Oh, no, no, you don't. You see, I, I, I can't bear being alone. Please stay. Look, I've got the Minister of Indian Development waiting for me in a bloody nude. Oh, please. <laughs> please. I'm sorry. I, I have to go. Please. I'm sorry. Please, please. You're so wonderful. Please. Maxine, I'm sorry I have to go. Have a drink. What? A drink. Have a, a, a scotch, Jim. Look, you don't understand. I've got to get back to the minister. Please. No, now just lie down and, and you'll be fine. Doctor. Yes? Thank you. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, my God. Please don't go. Maxine, could I have that key, please? Take it. Don't be ridiculous. Scotch? Give me that key. Come and get it. Oh, for God's sake. Here. I'm not going to do that. Well, pour yourself a drink, then, Doc. Look, this is absurd. Maxine, where, where, are, you, where are you going? Upstairs. Could I have that key, please? Come upstairs now, give it to you. Tiger. Hello? Uh, 935. Speaking. Ah, Doctor, I was wondering what... What? Well, I have waited a number of minutes already. Well, well, where are you? Look, round the corner. <laughs> now, Doctor, at this moment you should be examining my back, agreed? Well, what are you doing in Lower Nathan Street, and why, pray, was she going to kill herself? No, no, Minister, nothing to do with seeing you in the nude. No, no, I am Dr. Whiten's assistant, I promise. Look, well, she thought the bears were... Well, she thought you were somebody else. Look, I'll get back there as soon as I can. Well, why can't you get out? Well, ask her for the key. Where is the key? It's well. 
that's the problem, you see, Minister, but if you could just wait a... Oh, darling, don't waste time on him. Let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Minister! Minister! How dare you? How dare you? Darling, he's only a politician. But he's serious! I've got to get back there and explain. You can't let me out. Well, you know where the key is. Oh, give it to me. <gasps> Take it. All right. Oh. <laughs> God, that's exciting. Where is it? <laughs> hey, where is it? That is the most exciting thing anybody has ever done to me. <laughs> where is it? Oh, do it again. Shut up. <laughs> Come on. Oh, God, you turn me on. <laughs> Come on, tiger. Look. For God's sake, shut up! Control your carnal urges and find me that key or shut up! Have I made you angry? <laughs> what have I said? What have I done? Ah! Oh, look, where are you going? I'm leaving. Oh, come on. And stop playing hard to get. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Please let me explain. Excuse me, please. Uh, well, well, You're I, blocking my way. But I had to go after her. She said she'd kill herself. Uh, and when I got back to her flat, uh, she wouldn't let me in. She locked the key, uh, took the key and, uh, and put it down her, uh, where I said. I'm not interested. Please let me pass. But I couldn't do anything. So then I rang you and, and she said that thing over the phone which was completely untrue because she was trying to keep me there because she was hysterical. Um. God sake, go away, you stupid, ugly, over <laughs> Here's one.